The plus-size clothing company Lane Bryant apparently taking a jab at Victoria's Secret with its new lingerie ad campaign featuring the slogan, I'm no angel. The ad features a diverse group of women with varying body types and one model asking, how boring would it be if we were all the same? This ad coming as the fashion industry as a whole is under scrutiny for promoting unrealistic body images. And just last fall, Victoria's Secret had to change its perfect body slogan on an ad featuring a group of very slender models. What do you think about this one? I'm going to take it to the ladies first. You can think about what you want to say, Arthur. Fifth, so you don't, I'm going to take it to the fifth on this one. Right. Right. Israel, right. Arthur was licking his lips while you were reading this. No <laughs> lie. No <laughs> lie. <laughs> you know, what do you think? I love it. I think it's great. It's, also t it's taking off on social media, a very positive response. Remember the Lululemon CEO got in trouble for saying, well, our yoga yeah. pants fall apart because of overweight women in their thighs. Well, boy, boy, he got a big backlash. And that's a first time I think it really popped into the public consciousness that said, hey, there's no really perfect body out there. There's human beings out there. All right. But when you look to Victoria's Secret, Julie, it's no secret they have very slender women and that's sort of their shtick and they're allowed to do that as a corporation. Do you think it was smart, smart for Lane Bryant to attack Victoria's Secret yes, head on? I do. I think it's wonderful because Victoria's Secret exists so people can look at the ideal perfect body. The Victoria's Secret angels are women who... They're unrealistic, and if you actually look at interviews with them, they say they fast before shooting. They're they not, eat a tangerine. They, they, yeah, they, 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 even, the they, they even they admit it's not really their real body. So, you know, I think it's perfect for Lane Bryant to do this. Lane Bryant is a store, they say for plus-size women, I think for average-size women, and mm -hmm. I think it's fantastic. I think it's great that women have, have people to aspire to in commercials and, and ads that are not necessarily, you know, there's just all boots right. into the world. Well, Doug tried yeah. to do this, you remember, and it didn't really work for them. Remember when they put the women in the ad and they sort of backtracked and didn't do it after that. I mean, do you like the same plan? And then we'll go to our I love this. Did you expect me to say that? No. I think that they're beautiful and sexy can come in any shape and any size. And I think it's wonderful because if you go to the beach, I mean, most of the women are a little heavier. So I think it's refreshing. I think it gives us all a Just chance to some to honesty. Breathe. Okay, you can't plead the fifth. All I want to know is when are they going to do this for men? Like, when is it going to be, oh, this is the fat, bold guy, the out of shape dude magazine. <laughs> like, yeah, the guy walks on his toes magazine. I agree with Amy. Guy walks on his toes. You give me any woman and I'll find you a beautiful. Yeah, you're looking we're leading right here on Outnumbered, by the way. We have you sitting here and we're... Oh, crap. Timed out.